Welcome to Comic Spotlight, the video series where I put the spotlight on one of my comics. Hey, Nick Nevada here. Today's comic is called Giraffe Sick Park. That's a slight play on word of the popular movie title, Jurassic Park. This is one of the very first comics I ever published, so for the massive audience of fans of my comics out there, I'm going to revisit it today, just for you. Let's start with a comic overview. Okay, so let's begin. So first to the left, you've got um, two sick giraffes in the foreground, one looking straight at you with a thermometer and a hot towel on his head, and the other is blowing his uh, nose into a handkerchief. Don't worry, it's not COVID, this was in 2018. That was, that was a good joke. Next, you've got a John Hammond clone character standing in the Jurassic Park Jeep and he enthusiastically holds the handkerchief while the giraffe relieves his nasal, nasal, nasal pressure. God dang it. And next to him, the Ellie Sattler clone looks on in horrified surprise as a snot droplet dangles over her head. That's very inviting. Lastly, my favorite part, in the back, there's a silhouette of a giraffe suffering from a stomach virus, vomiting into a bucket. Two points. Now that I've toured the comic, I'll talk about the backstory. This comic began with inspiration from one, my constant exposure to dinosaurs through my wife Angela, and two, going to the San Diego Zoo. Angela has this ritual where she does house chores and throws on a Jurassic Park movie in the background. She loves dinosaurs more than anyone I've ever known. Thanks to her, I think about dinosaurs probably about the same amount as a six-year-old boy does. Which leads to the day I got the idea when we went to the San Diego Zoo, which we've been to about 10 times this year. We see all kinds of animals anytime we go, you know, season pass holders. <laughs> kind of a big deal. <laughs> oh, and we went up to see the giraffes. I noticed that giraffes kind of looked like dinosaurs. Long neck, long legs, almost like a brachiosaurus. And I thought to myself the word giraffe, and it sounded like giraffes, <laughs> not your ass. Then I said Jurassic, and I substituted giraffe for Jurass, and Giraffe Sick was born. And it occurred to me, I don't know if I've ever seen a sick giraffe. I've definitely not seen one vomit before. And the rest is history, or should I say, prehistory.